there are some ideas that we have, and then there are some ideas that I've actually gotten from my patients over the years. The thing to do is you have to make sure that whatever forms the school has to instruct the staff as to what to do should be filled out thoroughly, and they should be clear. You should make sure there's an EpiPen, Benadryl, and if albuterol is necessary, should be available for your child no matter where they are, with you, at school, camp, wherever they're going to be. So I had a pretty inventive mother who years ago had made a white t-shirt with red iron-on letters for her child stating exactly what allergy the child had. And it read, hi, my name is so-and-so, and I am allergic to this, that, and the other thing. Please don't feed it to me. And she sent him that way to school for the first three months of school. As many kids that age can't read anyway, only the people that can read need to know what it was. And guess what happened by the time three months were over? All the adults in the school knew what to not feed that child. So there are many creative ways that you can take on your own to make awareness in the environment where you are going to be with your child or yourself. And then there are the absolute must that everyone has to do, such as having their medication available and knowing what to do, reading ingredients, not eating food prepared in places that you can't account for. So, you know, you have to learn to stand for yourself. You have to understand your condition, read, educate yourself, and be prepared. A Dramatic Health Production.